Hi, my name is Matt, and welcome to Software Media TV. I'm the Adobe licensing expert here at Software Media, and I wanted to take a few minutes to go over Adobe's new Creative Cloud for Teams. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Creative Cloud for Teams is the volume licensing version of Adobe's Creative Cloud for Individuals. It is the only version that's uh, approved for use in a commercial environment. What that means is if you're a company and you have employees that are still using Adobe's Creative Cloud for Individuals, um, you, you may be out of compliance with Adobe's licensing guidelines. Uh, by upgrading to Creative Cloud for Teams, you're going to get all that same um, all those same apps, but you're going to be in compliance and you're going to have access to a, a larger suite of collaborative applications. Uh, so the difference between Adobe Creative Cloud and Creative Cloud for Teams is that with Creative Cloud for Teams, the license is actually registered to your company. So when you buy Creative Cloud for individuals for a person on your team, that license is going to be registered to that person, which means that if that, that person leaves, that license leaves with them. With Creative Cloud for Teams, you're going to be able to have the ability to buy licenses for each person in your organization, and that license is still going to be retained by your company, making sure that you can uh, get the full value of resources that you're paying for. With Creative Cloud for Teams, you're also going to get access to 100 gigabytes of cloud storage per user. Um, and you know that's a ton of storage. That's more storage than a lot of people have on their personal computers. You are also going to get access to a centralized admin console, which is going to give you the ability to purchase and deploy seats across your organization, as well as reassign seats when you have turnover. Um, you're also going to get access to file sharing and syncing, giving your whole team access to mission critical projects that you need to have a, a lot of sets of eyes on. Um, and last, you're going to get access to, I think, two one-on-one -on -one, uh, live demos with Adobe product experts. They're going to help you know the programs, know what you need so that you can get the most out of their product and get the most value for your business. So why use Creative Cloud in general versus uh, normal retail disk space that's going to store on your computer? Well, for one, uh, Creative Cloud is going to give you access to all your Adobe apps across multiple devices. Um, and we've all had that problem where you're working on something at the office and you go home and you want to add a quick fix or make a little change and you don't have Adobe on your home computer. With Creative Cloud for Teams, you're going to be able to deploy your apps across all your devices, making sure that you're always working and you're always able to capitalize on those moments of inspiration. Uh, you're also, with Creative Cloud for Teams, going to be able to deploy your apps. And this is incredible for administrators. Rather than having to call Adobe to reassign licenses or to even track those licenses, the Creative Cloud environment is going to allow you to do that all from one convenient place, which is really just a, a shift in, in the industry as a whole. Uh, a lot of programs are moving this way, and that's because it's incredibly user-friendly. It's a great way to, to manage your company, and it's a great way to get full, take full advantage of Adobe's awesome design software. So why invest in de design resources? Uh, that's a question we get a lot here at Software Media. And, and really, with today's environment, um, digital media is ubiquitous. People are interacting with you through your website, through your marketing materials, your YouTube channels, your videos that you have stored online. And if you're not investing in high quality design infrastructure, then that first contact is not everything that it can be. And you're trying to make up that ground down the road. Um, by investing in, in a really good quality suite like Adobe's Creative Cloud for Teams, you're going to ensure that that first contact is incredible and that that first contact is driving business down the road rather than holding you back and making you have to work for it moving forward. So it, it's really something that teams need to invest in if they want to stay competitive in today's environment. And that's Creative Cloud for Teams. We think it's a great product and we really hope you give it a try. It's also it for me, Matt, here at Software Media TV. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact our full staff of licensing experts or check out our YouTube channel. Uh, have a great day, and thanks for watching.